When you think of muscle cars, the old Smobile 442 might not be the first to come to mind. Overshadowed by its more famous peers, the 442 is often considered the underrated gem of its era. But whether you love it or not, you can't deny that the 442 is a true blue muscle car that proved its worth on the streets. The old Smobile 442 didn't have a long run, but it certainly made a lasting impact on the American car scene. Today, it stands as one of the most sought-after muscle cars around. Though Oldsmobile has long since closed its doors, the brand left a rich legacy. Known for creating elegant cars for the wealthy, Oldsmobile also produced some fantastic high-performance machines. One shining example is the 1970 Oldsmobile 442W30, the one we're talking about which is often hailed as one of the best classic muscle cars ever made. But what truly set it apart? It all started in the early 1960s when America fell head over heels for powerful, fast cars. Every car company wanted a piece of the action, and Oldsmobile wasn't about to be left in the dust. The 442 was Oldsmobile's contender in the muscle car wars of the late 1960s. The Oldsmobile 442 was named for its key features, a four-barrel carburetor, a four-speed manual transmission, and two exhaust pipes at the back. Pretty clever, right? Although many think the name came from a 442 cubic inch engine, that's not true. Depending on the year and version, the 442 actually used either a 400 cubic inch or a 455 cubic inch engine. This naming detail is still debated, especially since later models also came with a three-speed automatic gearbox. But no matter what, 442 is a cool name for a cool car. In 1970, Oldsmobile introduced the W30 performance package for the 442 taking its performance to new heights with an array of high-performance parts. The name was not the only praiseable thing on this car that we're talking about today. What made the W30 so special? Well, for starters, it had a beefed-up version of that 400 cubic inch engine. Oldsmobile's engineers worked their magic, adding a hotter cam a redesigned intake manifold, and a bunch of other goodies that boosted the horsepower to a whopping 360. Remember, this was in the days before computers and fancy electronic fuel injection. This was raw, mechanical power at its finest. Oldsmobile was ahead of the game in high-performance cars, even before Pontiac and Chevrolet. Their overhead valve rocket V8 engine was one of the best, making the 442 a hot item. The 442 started as a performance package for the 1964 Oldsmobile Cutlass, featuring a 330 cubic inch small block V8. This engine had more power than the standard Cutlass, but was still behind other muscle cars of the time. So, in 1965, Oldsmobile replaced the 330 with a 400 cubic inch big block engine, boosting power to 345 horsepower and 440 pound force feet of torque. The real magic happened in 1970. GM lifted its ban on using engines over 400 cubic inches in intermediate cars, so Oldsmobile went all out with the 442 fitting it with a 455 cubic inch big block engine. This beast produced 365 horsepower and an impressive 500 pound force foot of torque. But Oldsmobile didn't stop there. They offered the 1974 442 with an optional double U30 performance package, which increased the 455's power to 370 horsepower. However, like many cars of that era, this figure was underrated. In reality, the 1974 442 with the W30 package produced over 400 horsepower. With these upgrades, the 1974 442 W30 was a beast of a muscle car and the ultimate Oldsmobile. It could run the quarter mile in just 13.9 seconds, hitting 100 miles per hour by the finish line. Isn't that incredible? Now, you might be wondering why the 442 W30 doesn't get the same love as some other muscle cars. Well, part of it comes down to numbers. Oldsmobile didn't make as many of these beasts as Chevrolet did Camaros or Ford did Mustangs. In 1970, which many consider the peak year for muscle cars, Olds only built about 260 W30 convertibles. That's pretty rare. Another reason is that Oldsmobile just wasn't as cool as some other brands. Pontiac had the GTO, which many people think was the first real muscle car. Dodge had the Charger, which looked super fast, even when it wasn't moving. And then there were the Shelby Mustangs, backed by the famous racer Carroll Shelby. The 442 was great, but it just didn't have the same street cred. 
The 442W30 wasn't just fast in a straight line either. Unlike some muscle cars that were all engine and no finesse, the Olds could actually handle corners pretty well. The Olds Mobile 442 was known for being the best handling muscle car of its time. How did Oldsmobile achieve this? They made serious changes to the cutlass chassis, including a heavy-duty suspension package with stiffer springs and heavy-duty shocks with 50% more valving restriction. They added better tires, a front sway bar almost an inch in diameter, a rear sway bar, and lower rear control arms with thicker bushings. Plus, the car got the Munchium 20, a heavy-duty clutch that could handle all that power. Most muscle cars focused purely on performance and lacked luxury. But not the Oldsmobile 442 W30. It had one of the best interiors ever offered in a GM intermediate car, making it the finest upscale muscle car of its era. And it came with plenty of optional extras too. The Oldsmobile 442 W30 offered the perfect blend of luxury and performance. It was practical too, with a roomy cabin that could seat five adults comfortably and a massive trunk for all their luggage. You could drive it to work all week and then take it to the drag strip on the weekend. It was the best of both worlds. In terms of looks, the 442W30 had a lot in common with the Cutlass, but received a proper muscle car treatment. Available as a two-door coupe and a convertible, it featured Oldsmobile signature grille and four round headlamps. The 1970 lineup looked great, especially with the W30 package that included an optional rear spoiler for an even more impressive appearance. Inside, the 442 was based on the luxury Cutlass, which showed in its plush cabin. It never felt like a compromise, with bucket seats wrapped in vinyl, plenty of wood and chrome, a three-spoke steering wheel, classic dials, and a stereo system, typical of American cars from the 1970s and 1980s. The rear space was roomy, and even the small quarter windows were power-operated. As the 1970s rolled on, things started to change for muscle cars. Gas prices went up, insurance rates skyrocketed, and new emissions regulations started to choke the life out of those big, powerful engines. The 442 soldiered on for a while, but like all good things, it eventually came to an end. Today, the Oldsmobile 442W30 is a rare sight. Many of them were driven hard and put away wet, as the saying goes. Others were lost to the ravages of time and rust, but the ones that survive are treasured by collectors who know just how special these cars are. Only 515 of these were ever made. Yes, you heard that right. And most of the hearse cars came in Peruvian silver with black stripes running all over the car. The 442 hearse was available with either a 6.6 liter or the Rocket 7.5 liter engine. Both engines produced 390 horsepower, but the 7.5 liter had improved internals and better top end performance. The power was managed by a 400 manual gearbox. These, along with the top-tier W30 models, are the most sought-after versions of the Oldsmobile 442. So the next time someone starts talking about muscle cars and only mentions Mustangs and Camaros, speak up for the 442 W30. Tell them about this hidden gem from Oldsmobile, the car that could run with the best of them but never quite got the recognition it deserved. Who knows? You might just inspire someone to seek out one of these forgotten beasts and give it a new lease on life. The 1970 Olds Mobile 442 W30 is a prime example of this trend. Good examples of this car are fetching an average of $80,000, with some models going well above $200,000. This high value is because the 442 represents the heyday of high-performance muscle cars, making it one of the most valuable automobiles ever made. The glory days of the Oldsmobile 442 were short-lived, it shone brightly for about four years before being discontinued in 1972. But during its time, the 442 left a lasting mark as one of the most well-rounded muscle cars in America. It's an iconic car that was often overshadowed by its rivals. Now, the Oldsmobile 442 is reserved for the used car market, where its value is expected to rise, making it a future collectible. So, what do you think? Would you want to own a piece of muscle car history? Have you ever seen a 442 up close? Let's hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up.